Hello, hello, my beautiful people of the internet. I just got spray tan today, and I have yet to wash it off. I'm gonna wash it off tomorrow morning, so if I'm looking rather orange, don't judge. Okay, moving on. Um, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would just like to say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Lisa Huff, and I am a hairstylist who has been in the industry for over seven years, a studio suite owner in central Illinois, and I am here to be your go-to girl for all things hair. I am doing a little first impression slash review today on this cute, adorable, oh my god, I die for this packaging, Kitsch? Is that what, how it's pronounced? Kitsch? Kitsch. Kitsch? Kitsch? Kitsch. I don't, why am I saying it like it's three syllables? Kitsch. Kitsch. Like stitch, but kitsch. I don't know how you say it. Let me see if I can find another Instagram. Oh, I just messaged this sweet girl who owns this company and she just got back to me. A giveaway would be awesome. Winner! gets a hundred dollars to kitsch. I'm bad. Let me figure this out. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you the details to that. Should I message and ask how it's pronounced? Would that be rude? I want to pronounce it right. I'm saying... Also, how is this pronounced? Kitsch. I don't want to butcher it in the video. Let's see what they say. Right, what if I Google, like, type it and put pronunciation? Kitch. Okay. K I C H. Kitch. Cool. Let's make sure she responds and says the same thing. Kitch. K. Kitch. Like, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right, before I even get into this, I need to say I am a sucker for a handwritten note and this hardcore... Hi, Lisa. We are so excited to share some kitsch favorites with you. We hope you enjoy as much as we do. XOXO kitsch. Okay, now this is where the feels really come in because, man, can I relate to this. Kitsch. Built by staying positive no matter what. And then there's a cute little timeline from 2006 to 2017. It all started with a girl in a dream. Sandra Thurswell. Thurswell. I'm like illiterate. Uh, moved from Chile, Amory, Wisconsin to sunny Los Angeles to be a full-time grad student at, at FIDM. She spent over 60 hours a week working odd jobs and sustained herself on frozen burritos in order to save every penny. Kitsch became a reality in 2010. Cassandra was 25 years old. That's how old I am. When she took a leap of faith to leave all of her other jobs in order to focus, focus on making Kitsch a reality. She was ready for the world, armed with two maxed out credit cards, 134 Tupperware containers of jewelry, 15,983 hair ties, all cut and tied herself. Women owned, self-financed, worldwide company. Starting with the goal of creating a company filled with inspiration and positivity in its employees as well as its product, products, Kitsch grew more than Cassandra ever imagined. From a girl in a tiny apartment to a company selling over 27 countries with 15,000 retail locations and 10 million hair ties sold. Now if that doesn't just like punch you in the gut and make you want to cry and scream girl power, I don't know what does because that spoke to me. And look at this like beautiful illustration. I can't with the packaging. Talk about going the extra mile for your customers. My gosh. So it was in a box because it got sent, but she also included this adorable bag. I don't know if it got sent by this girl herself, but still. Okay, first thing. This shower cap, which is freaking adorable. Now, I do have one issue though. I don't know if they have different sizes, but it is so tight. I have a big head and a lot of hair. And this won't work for me, um, unfortunately, because a girl loves a shower cap because I never wash my hair. So I always wear a shower cap. But this one, I mean, cute AF. So freaking cute. But it's really tight. Like, I mean, I can get it on. <laughs> but, like, well, maybe it's stretched out since the last time I used it. Let's try. Let's put the hair in and see what happens. 
I swear the first time I tried it on it like cut the circulation off to my brain but maybe that stretched it out I don't think any see anything about the size so I am thinking it's kind of one size fits all oh yeah when you get the hair in there it's tough I don't know if you guys have ever seen me look cuter. <laughs> All right, you know what? This could this could work. It is tight, but I know the water won't get in there. I mean, I'm saying. Thumbnail. All right. All right. I guess I guess I'll say a win to the shower cap. That was gonna be my only complaint was that it was tight as a mother, but it feels okay. She res responded, catch, okay. Um, ch ch let's see real quick if they sell more than one size. Because I'm saying I do have a pretty big head, like compared to my husband. I don't know if he has a small head or if I have a giant head, but like, I will put one of his hats on and it will be so tight on me and I'll need to loosen it. So something about that because I mean he is like a foot taller than me, all of his clothes are bigger than mine. But my head is way bigger than his. But it may be his. Who knows? Okay, let's find hair accessories. All right, shower caps. I'm looking really fine right now. Okay, there it is. So this cap is $28, if you were wondering. And I am not seeing different sizes. But they do have other really cute hats. Um, these, like, palm leaves, all black, striped, vintage. Love it cute super cute but if you think there's any chance that your head is bigger than mine I would say it's gonna be too tight on you if you're my size or smaller if you've ever been like told you have a small head or if you've ever thought you have a small head this will definitely work for you but I got a big old head and it's tight and like it kind of gives me a headache but it like rubs off my makeup and my spray tan but that's okay um so cuteness 10 out of 10 love the idea great quality great pattern it's like cinched in the back it's got this like uh well now it's got spray tan on it because i'm nasty but it's got this like uh silicone lining so it really stays put um which the shower cap i'm using now doesn't do that it's just got like a scrunchie and sometimes my edges get wet so i like this a lot i do wish it came in a slightly bigger size though Next is these adorable little twist in pins and they're like cute little pearls. I haven't taken these out yet but I want so bad to bring these to the salon and like do a really pretty Instagram picture with these in. It says these are six dollars so that's super affordable. For like a wedding I die. That would be beautiful. It is, they're so freaking cute. So like to give you an idea. Of what you would do with one of these. Oh, it's got a pretty big coil too, which is nice because you don't have to worry about it falling out then. Okay, so say you've got like an updo, you know, you just take these bad boys and twist them in and it stays put. I guess you could do it with your hair down. It's for an updo though. So freaking cute. Love. Take a braid, put these in. Adorable. Okay. 10 out of 10 would rate these. Good quality. It is glued on, but it feels pretty darn secure. Whatever. It is glued on. It's like melted glued on, but from what I can feel, I'm like trying to snap it and it feels like pretty good quality. So that's good to know. It's not like you have to be insanely cautious with these because um, I don't think they're going to break very easily. Let's just twist this back on so I can bring it to the salon and play around with it. I'm in a goofy mood today, you guys. I don't know. It's because it's late and I'm tired, but you know, I want to bulk film some videos so I don't get stressed about videos because I hate not having enough. My dad texted me. I put something on Facebook about being worried about a tornado because it was really windy and now everybody's messaging me and there's not even a tornado. but. I just get paranoid. Okay. Next, which I don't have the packaging it came with because I've already worn this and I love it, is this freaking adorable gold clip. I cannot. It's like a jaw clip. This is heavy, 
which if you have like really fine hair may not be the best but for my hair this holds so good it is such high quality it's not plastic it looks like gold it is metal and rounded and smooth not like janky metal that gets caught on everything but to like go like this I mean it just I don't know if it's the amount of teeth it has how like deeply intertwined these teeth are but it stays in place and it is freaking cute I mean I love this clip I don't know how much this clip retails for but if you have hair anything like mine get it because it is like heavy duty next are these adorable little hair coils you need right now <laughs> Water resistant, avoids hair breakage for all hair types. Kind on hair, holds hair in place, no marks or creases. So these are like the Invisibobble, which I have learned a lot about, like felt other people's, but I've never had any of my own. So that's how it looks on my wrist next to my um, Kaneki ponytail. And let's see how it holds up in the hair. So it stretches nice, starting out this small, it stretches pretty nice to be on my wrist, which is wonderful. It's not like digging into me. Let's do the ultimate test of a messy bun on this thick ass hair of mine. Let's see. Eh, definitely can't work out in it. It's not that tight. But keeps the hair out of my face. If you're just like doing a normal day uh, and you need something to hold your hair up, it'll do. Again, I wouldn't be able to work out in it. Let me try a ponytail and wrapping it around more than just twice for a bun. I need to get low so you guys can see. See how much it stretches? But at the same time, it's not super duper strong. But I can feel that it won't cause breakage because it doesn't wrap that tight. Yeah, definitely cute for a ponytail. Definitely not good for like whipping your hair back and forth, running, working out. I mean, if you had a low ponytail, it would work. But I mean, that's pretty cute, if I do say so myself. Pretty darn cute. Pull a little hair out for like a messy updo. Cute. I dig. Yeah, I dig. But again, you can see I kind of put that as a high ponytail and it's starting to sag. But I think that's just how it goes with these um, kind of ponytail holders is you don't get a super duper duper tight ponytail with them. So, approve. I like, keeps hair out of your, for your face. If you're like doing your makeup and you don't want any creases in your hair, definitely worth it. And it comes with super cute colors too. They're like metallic-y, gold-y, adorable. And this clip, definitely a win. So if you click the link in the description bar down below, I will have a blog post related to this um, and all the rules to enter the giveaway. She has not responded back yet on what she wants the rules to be. So by the time this video is up, it's probably going to be a couple weeks from when I'm filming this. Um, there'll be a link to my Instagram. The giveaway will be on Instagram. Click that link and the rules to enter will be there. And $100 worth of Kitsch products. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of hair ties, $100 worth. So make sure you enter. Click the link down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me ramble about hair stuff. It means more to me than you know. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. 